morning students so in last class we started lesson number 8 no our occupation so in this class we are going to continue that lesson children so to tell working in forest or farming to tell that we discuss no so now we are going to start start the mining so before that just we recall what we have discussed in last class children so why we need occupation so why it is very important to us what it gives occupation means we can get to earn a money we need a occupation no namge dudu beku dudu edige sinte nam kelsa madidara nam dudu sigadu so to earn a money we need a occupation why we need a money why we need a money enik beku dudu edige beku to survive our life to fulfill our needs we need a money so lesson number 8 our occupation we all need money to buy food cloth and shelter to live in we earn money by taking up various jobs in our occupation so why we need a money to buy food we all need money to buy food cloths and shelter to live we need a money so to earn a money we are going to we are need a occupation so what is occupation means any work that helps a person to earn his livelihood is called an occupation what is occupation any work that helps a person to earn his livelihood is called an occupation what is occupation any work that helps a person to earn his livelihood is called an so what is occupation in last class we know that what is occupation means any work so which help us to survive our life to survive our livelihood so that one we call occupation what is occupation any work that helps a person to earn his livelihood is called an occupation people take one occupation or the other in order to earn for their livelihood so our livelihood jeevana vanna sarvathige onna na ondu kelsana maadidare so kelu maaduvanta kelsa neen anisthe it depends on their education so what their qualities they have it depends on that one occupations are varied people follow occupation as per their needs interest and ability occupations like teachers scientists doctors engineers carpenters farmers miners are pursued in all parts of the world so um, so there is a so many occupations no ishto kelsa ga ide so yavaru nam teaching carpenter doctor engineer nurse like that there is so many occupation we shall learn about the occupation of people living in both rural and urban areas farming or agriculture farming or agriculture is the main occupation of the people in the villages or rural areas so there we can see this farming in the rural areas rural areas means it is a village rural means 
textile. For example, common and cotton and goods would not be there. So, the name of the fabric or convert money, textile or money, it is used to make ready made dresses in factories. As we have garments or the factory or even the government of the ready made dresses are prepared money, manufactured money, then we have to. Similarly, oil seeds, sugar cane, coffee or tea leaves are grown by farmers and taken to factories to make coffee powder, tea and sugar. So like that also, similarly, oil and sugar cane also. Next, these factories provide value to millions of people. So in that factory, so many people are working there. So there are two types of workers in the factory, skilled workers and unskilled workers. Factories are two types of people who work on that. So here are one of the skilled workers and another one is unskilled. Skilled is a good period of the skilled workers. And the other one is unskilled workers. And the other one is unskilled workers. And the other one is unskilled workers. So they are packed and loaded into trucks or trains and delivered to various places for it to be sold in the shops and the consumer buy it from the shops. Factories and the goods in the ready areas. So the common work is going to the very most train matter, shift matter. So I will say that the shops go, so I will say that the purchase matter. Transport services plays a key role in transporting the goods from Practice to the end user. So transport is a key role for the factories. Besides goods, we also need services in telecommunication, postal, medical, education, travel, publishing, and newspaper sectors. A number of people work in these sectors, providing us with services. So there are so many people's helper. No, they all uh, provide services to us. By now, you have seen people work in various areas and sectors to earn their livelihood. All these people are very important to us. They provide us with the goods and services which we require in our daily life. So all the workers are important. Why? Right? Because they provide service to us. So which is which we use in our daily life. Not in our daily life. So postman are the goods. Prati over for daily life. They are also very useful. So see, let's revise the program. Any work that helps us to earn money or livelihood is called as occupation. Second point, people living in the rural areas or villages are mainly engaged in agriculture or farming. Fishing is the main occupation of people living in the coastal areas. Factories provide work for a large number of people and also produce the goods that we use. People in the service sector provide us with many services. Now, the rewarding occupation means any work which helps a person to earn a livelihood. Next, livelihood means basic life means like food, clothing and shelter. Cattle. Animals like cow, goat, a buffalo, dairy is formed for milk or meat. Mining. Digging up of the ground on her upper crust to get minerals. Factory. A place of building where finished goods are made from raw materials. So this finished reward, lesson number 8. So in next class, we can continue children's. So you have to write class work of this lesson, question answers. So write new types. New types means fill in the blanks, match the following and multiple choice questions in textbook for me children. Don't write this in class work. Only artworks and answer the following must be written in class for children. Thank you. In next class we can continue.